when we have downloaded the PKG files needed to set up AnyClick, we need to transfer them to the ASA firewall. In order to set up the AnyClick solution, we need to have the PKG files on the firewall flash. The firewall have one or two flash devices, and you can use the dir command to list what's in the flash. We can see here that when I use dir flash colon, I will get a list of what's in disk zero colon. That's because the flash colon is an alias for disk zero colon. If we look at what we have available here, we only have disk zero as a storage device. System colon is something completely different, but we have disk zero colon and flash colon, and that's actually the same file system. In some devices, we have two flash storage devices. Then we have one disk zero and one disk one. We can use either of them, it doesn't really matter, and flash colon is just an alias for the first disk, disk zero. In this case, we only have one, so I can use either dear flash colon or dear disk zero colon. It's the same. You can see here what files I have on the flash. I actually already have the files uploaded to the device. I have any connect PKG files for Windows, OS X, and Linux. You can transfer them to the flash in a number of different ways. If you want to use the CLI, you can use the copy command and you copy files from some kind of file system. Most common is FTP. So let's use that one as an example. We always specify a URL to a resource. Normally we enter FTP colon slash slash an IP address slash directory and the file name, any connected dot PKG. This is the syntax we use to copy files from an FTP server, which has an IP address of 1234, and the file is in the directory specified here. If we have it in the root of the FTP server, we only enter this slash and the file name .pkg. We also specify a destination, and normally that is disk zero colon slash to show that it should be put in the root of the disk zero colon or flash. Doesn't matter, it's the same flash colon slash. That's the syntax we use. If we want to specify a username for an FTP, we use username at. If you also need to specify a password, we write username colon password at. That's the standard syntax for FTP URLs. We can also use TFTP. TFTP is not authenticated, so there's no way to put username and password in TFTP. We only specify an IP address and a file name. We can also copy from other sources like SCP is encrypted secure copy running over SSH, TCP 22. We can copy from HTTP and HTTPS URLs as well, which is quite handy because you can here enter, for example, a Dropbox public URL, given that the firewall have uh, internet access and it can resolve DNS domain names. You can enter an HTTPS URL here that points to a Dropbox public file. You need to put the file in a public folder of Dropbox and you paste the URL here and the firewall will retrieve the file from that HTTPS URL and put it on the flash. We can also copy from SMB, which is a Windows file system. In order to do that, we need to set up some credentials for SMB. And I don't go through that in this course, but it's easy to find information about how to do that if you Google it. Most commonly, you copy from FTP or TFTP to Flash. Whenever you have done that, you will have the file on Flash. If you do not want to use the CLI to transfer files, you can use the GUI, the ASDM instead. The ASDM has a handy tool up here in the tools menu that is a file management. That can be used to transfer files between your local machine and the firewall. You use the second tab up here, file transfer between local PC and flash. Here you can simply point out your local file on your computer here. By clicking the right arrow here, you can transfer the file from left to right. And that's how I have put those three files here already. That's the easiest way to transfer files. First step when you want to configure AnyConnect is that these files need to be on the flash.